Hi, it's Michelle here from the Pilates Pod and I am here to talk to you today about sciatica. There are many, many people finding, especially during lockdown, that their symptoms of sciatica have arrived or have increased. And why is that? Generally speaking, our lives in lockdown are less active. Doesn't mean necessarily before you were a real gym bunny, but your daily activities will have provided you quite a lot of movement in the body. Now we're a bit sedentary and that could be sitting on your sofa more, that could be sitting at the desk a lot more. Whatever it is, sitting and being less active doesn't give us that lubrication through the joints and it does this to the body, schlump. Now that schlump throws the neck forward, rounds the upper back, tightens the chest, compresses the lower back and puts no strength and support here in the abdominal wall. Everybody lift back up. So sciatica, what is it? Sciatica is the pain that we refer to when you feel a compression impingement running through the nerve pathway of the sciatic nerve. Now that starts from your lower back and runs into your hips and usually down one side of the body, into the bum and down the back of the leg. And if you've had sciatica, you will know that shooting pain feeling from the bum shooting down the back of your leg. So of course there are stretches and things that you can do to help temporarily relieve you from the feelings of that impingement sciatic nerve. Of course you can take medication and such like as well to help you deal with the pain and those all of them you may very well need to do. However without looking at what is the impingement, what is the root cause, then we don't really know why it's there in the first place. Now your sciatic nerve, as we know, starts from the lower back, so that's where we need to look first. And going to see your osteopath will give you the diagnostic and tests to find out what is the cause. It could be something, an issue with your facet joints, they could be locked, they could be inflamed. It could be an impingement on your disc, herniation or compression, both, whatever. Find out first of all what your diagnostic is. When you can go to see somebody, get that answer. Don't put up with the pain. Secondly, after that, what are you gonna do about it then? If you don't deal with the problem, it will only ever increase or come back. The osteopath is gonna help you diagnose it. They're not gonna fix it for you. You need to take responsibility for helping yourself. And this is where Pilates comes in as your self-management tools to keep you out of that pain. So when you found a diagnosis, then you can do something about it. They will help you to unlock things that perhaps the facets are locked. And for most people, it's this compression. That compression also means a weakness through the center because it allows us just to fall and compress here. So tip number two, you need to build strength here in the center. This is not just your core. This is not six pack strength. This is not just this superficial area down here. Your core is part of a bigger picture in what Pilates we refer to as your powerhouse or your girdle of strength, your center. It's a makeup of your pelvic floor and your buttocks from underneath your pelvis, your abdominal wall from the front and the deepest ones that wrap around to your lower back, your waist muscles of which some of them also connect to your lower back, your diaphragm from the buff and everything connects from the front around to the back in a cylindrical drum and supports you from underneath and above from the sides from the front and all connects and supports you to the back so building strength in that area will stop you from this schlump and it will allow you to get lift and space from your body so that's fantastic what pilates also does is teaches you the internal lift what we refer to as the scoop now watch again as i slump back down here my abdominal wall gets weaker my back gets rounder and tighter and then i get into this vicious cycle now i start to see my neck and shoulders coming forward and i get tightnesses here i'm going back to the osteopath i'm going back to have massages i'm going back to have my pain medication for all of this but this is all coming from down here and down here when I get the strength and then the internal lift, the strength supports my lower back, the internal lift decompresses my spine. And if I've got impingement coming from my lower back of that nerve pathway, I need to decompress it. That doesn't mean to say I'm gonna hang upside down like a bat. It means I need to find the strength to support my lower back with the deep abdominal wall muscles. And it means I need to find the scoop and lift. That lift is going to be the difference between you doing this, you 
doing this, doing this, and keep having to revisit that osteopath, keep revisiting your medical cabinet, and keep grumbling about all those aches and pains. Only you can solve it. Go to the osteopath, get your diagnosis, do something about it, work with them on a treatment plan first, then get to Pilates. Obviously, when you're working with the apparatus, that is 101, that is gold. Most people have got incorrect feelings about Pilates that they think that you start on the floor and you build up your strength to go to the apparatus. Mm, 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 mm. That's the wrong way of thinking about it. The apparatus and the springs, not just reform, I'm talking about the whole studio here, working with all the reformer, the high chair, the wander chair, pedipal, spine creatures, the whole works. Those apparatus springs have coils on them. And you can just imagine when I'm holding a coil here, the springs are quite closed and tight knitted together. That's like your back being down like this. When I pull the springs apart, you see spacing through the coils and more openness. That's your spine, the coils. And when you can see through the coils, that's your nerve pathway running through that area. So you can see space provides you with circulation. Circulation helps you to heal the part of the body that is becoming stagnated. We talk about in Pilates, this internal kind of um, cleansing almost, internal washing out of the body of the blood and the circulation. It's like having an internal shower. That's literally what your body is doing. As it lifts and finds space, circulation can run through it. It doesn't pull and stagnate and cause this inflammation and pain issues. So go to the osteopath, find out what the issue is, work with them first of all, and then get to Pilates. As soon as you can, get to our studio or get to a studio near you where you could get on the apparatus and work with the teacher who knows on the full apparatus of the studio. And then in the meantime, remember, Pilates on your mat is what Joe Pilates would give you as your homework. You need to be doing it. Only you can help yourself. And yes, it's not as easy as using the apparatus and springs, but is a lot better than sitting on your butt at home having the aches and pains. Your internal strength of your body will find the lift that you need to against your own body weight and gravity. You don't need anything fancy, just your mat and your own body. Hopefully a bit of sunshine in the garden would be nice. Other than that, just a bit of space. So come and see us at the Pilates pod. We will help you. There may be things that we need to modify first of all. Sometimes sciatica does not like you having those straight legs and you feel those pain shooting down the back of the leg. We will need to modify some exercises. Some exercises we will need to take out the pressure through the back like this. It's not gonna lend itself to do exercises then when you're sitting up and when you're rounding your back. Instead, it's gonna like you to lie down and do things where gravity and compression is out of the way until you've built the strength to put it all back in again. So we'll help you to build that strength, to build that awareness, not just in Pilates, but how it's gonna help you outside in your everyday life as well. We'll start with some one-to-ones. If you just got the general kind of aches and pains feeling, go straight into the classes. We are here for you virtually in our virtual Pilates pod, as well as when our studio is gonna be open again, whenever that will be, perhaps in July. But you can go to the website, you can book yourself a session with one of our fantastic teachers and get yourself sorted for getting out of pain. We do have a great offer for anybody who wants to join us for our virtual classes. Seven days of unlimited virtual classes for 25 quid. Total bargain. You will need to be thinking if you've got any issues, aches and pains, once a week, it's just maintenance. Get your body moving two, three times a week. Once a week is not enough if you want to see change. And we can help you change your body by helping you take care of yourself. And the body will heal itself. It's an amazing tool. You just need to give it a little bit of love. So lots of news about sciatica. It can be helped. Don't sit and struggle on your own. Get a diagnosis, get to Pilates and find that scoop and lift. See you later.